I'm just a guy that wants to reduce his bills and energy use. I installed solar, some more solar and yet more solar, then a home battery. I've done at least a dozen other things to reduce mine and my home's energy use. Cutting my bills to less than a quarter what they were. This channel is about this journey. A lot of comments on my earlier video have asked, how quickly will solar pay for itself? So, while browsing houses on Rightmove a few months ago, I came across an EPC for a house. Okay, it's a big house, £1 million in the southeast, but what was more shocking than the price of the house was the estimated quotes and savings for installing solar PV. 11 to £22,000 for the install, but only a £222 annual saving. At the low end, £11,000, would take 49 and a half years to pay for itself. At the high end, 90.1 years. I reckon these are 10 and 20 times out from what people can expect these days. Now first let me say this is not the daily fail who hates solar panels and wind turbines. This is an EPC, a government appointed certification scheme, a system that's been running for a decade and you would hope give good advice on what improvements you can make to make your home from a poor grade, say D, or lower to something better. A basic install from Going Green Renewables I've seen for as low as £3,500. But let's say £4,500. Prices are increasing and demand is high, so I expect prices to rise quickly. But then again, Sunak has just cut VAT on solar installs to 0% for the next five years. So. Now, electricity prices have risen to 35 to 40p per kilowatt hour in the UK. The average home apparently uses 13 kilowatt hours of electricity a day, or 4,750 kilowatt hours per year. Note, this figure is about half the US where air conditioning is more common. It also doesn't take into account that most people getting solar are going to be doing so on larger than average sized houses. Anyway, taking the 35p price and multiplying by that kilowatt hour, you get 1,661 pounds of electricity per year, not including standing charges. People with just solar, not solar and battery, it's always been ballparked you can save 50% of your energy with solar panels. This is a good ballpark I reckon. Even on poor solar days you can cover your base load, that's internet modem, things like fridge freezer, some lights, things on standby, appliances with clocks, etc. Then people usually make some minor adjustments when they've got solar e.g. running the dishwasher during the day rather than at night. So we're at £831 annual saving for electricity. Now you're going to be selling electricity that you don't use. Lots in the summer when you might be away on holiday and it's sunny in the UK of course. Even at a not very generous 5p per kilowatt hour, as Octopus offers currently, you're going to be selling about half what you generate. A basic 4 kilowatt install is expected to produce about 3,500 kilowatt hours in the south of England, or about 3,000 in the north of the UK. Mine produces 3,300 kilowatt hours on its original 4 kilowatt install, but I'm shaded for 4 months of the year. Anyway, that's only £80 a year of earnings. Adding both the previous figures, and that's £911 a year of savings and earnings. That's a payback period of around five and a half years. And remember, I'm rather stupidly assuming that electricity prices aren't really going to rise another 30% in October as predicted. Also, however, if we consider hot water as well, I think we can improve on that five year payback. Now the following is only going to work if you have a hot water tank with an immersion element. As covered in more detail in my previous video about my initial 4 kilowatt solar install, the Solic 200 diverts unused electricity to your immersion element. It costs about £130 on Amazon, but let's call it £300 that your solar installer will charge on top of your panels for fitting this as well. Heating hot water on solar is not going to work year round, but let's assume your gas bill is £1,000. Let's assume half that is hot water. That's about right I reckon. Most boilers have to come on for 20 to 30 minutes every day to heat the hot water versus heating, which most people in the UK only put on for five to six months. 
Let's be pessimistic and assume you can only get free hot water half the days of the year. That's £250 of hot water saving. Oversizing your solar and I think you can get to about 8 months of almost zero gas use for hot water, even in the UK. If you're heating hot water you're not exporting as much, so let's cut that estimate to only £50. There's plenty of days in the UK when you're going to generate 20 to 30 kilowatt hours of electricity in a day and have far too much power even after washing everything you can think of. Adding up these new totals and you're at £1,131 of annual savings and earnings. This is again assuming no increase in electricity prices over the next five years or so. And again £5,000 of solar plus £300 for the immersion controller divided by that £1,131 and you get 4.7 years or roughly four years, eight months, which is pretty quick, I reckon. So, in conclusion, a payback period of 49 or 90 years is ridiculous. I think it's possible to get the payback period down to only five years. And some people might ask, but how long will a solar PV install keep generating? Well, most panels are warranted for 20 to 25 years, and most inverters are warranted for 5 to 10 years. My original 4 kilowatt install is 8 years old and the panels and inverter are working fine. And in the 8 years I've had my system, it's generated 24,500 kilowatt hours or 25 megawatt hours of electricity. Or about what a large wind turbine will generate in two windy days.